Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 356. Sickle Cell Anemia. What type of inheritance is sickle cell anemia? Sickle cell anemia is an autosomal recessive inheritance. What mutation occurs in sickle cell anemia? In sickle cell anemia, there is hemoglobin S point mutation, which causes a single amino acid replacement in the beta chain. And the substitution that happens here is that glutamic acid is replaced with valine at position 6. Describe the pathogenesis of sickle cell anemia. Due to the mutation seen with sickle cell anemia, this would lead to low oxygen and that precipitates sickling and polymerizes hemoglobin S and that results in anemia and vaso-occlusive diseases. So basically, when sickling of red blood cells starts occurring, you will see anemia and also thrombosis. Describe when the newborn starts seeing the effects of sickle cell anemia. Newborns initially do not show sign of sickle cell anemia because they have high concentration of hemoglobin F. But when they start switching over at the age of 6 months to hemoglobin S, they will then start showing signs of sickle cell anemia. People with heterozygote sickle cell trait are resistant to what condition? Heterozygote sickle cell trait have resistance to malaria. One additional thing to note about sickle cell anemia is that 8% of African Americans carry the hemoglobin S trait. Describe the appearance of sickled cells. Sickled red blood cells have a crescent shape which is similar to the crescent moon shape. Describe the appearance of the skull x-ray in sickle cell anemia. You would see the classic crew cut on skull x-ray due to marrow expansion. And the reason this happens is because there is increase in erythropoiesis going on in areas where it shouldn't. Normally, there is very little erythropoiesis that goes on in the bones of the skull. But in cases of sickle cell anemias and thalassemias, there is a higher demand for red blood cell needing to be produced, so the body starts producing it anywhere it can. And therefore, you see that crew cut sign. What happens if sickle cell anemic patients are exposed to parvovirus B19? If sickle cell patients are exposed to parvovirus B19, this would lead to aplastic crisis. What spleen complication can arise due to sickle cell anemia? As we mentioned earlier, that sickle cell anemia can lead to vaso-occlusions, and this may cut the blood supply to the spleen, leading to infarction and autosplenectomy. We already know from earlier discussions that when there is no spleen, that leads to formation of Howell Jolly bodies. Without a spleen, there is also increased risk of infection with encapsulated organisms. And lastly, with sickle cell anemia, there can be functional splenic dysfunction early in the childhood. Along with increased risk of infection with encapsulated organism, what other bacterial infection can occur with sickle cell anemia? With sickle cell anemia, there is also an increased chance of salmonella osteomyelitis. Name some of the painful crises that would occur with sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia can lead to painful crises due to vaso-occlusion, and this includes dactylitis, which is painful hand swelling, acute chest syndrome, and avascular necrosis. What are the kidney complications that can arise due to sickle cell anemia? In the kidney, there can be renal papillary necrosis due to low oxygen in the kidney papilla. There can also be microhematuria due to medullary infarct. And both of these conditions occur due to the vaso-occlusion you see with sickle cell anemia. What are some treatment options for sickle cell anemia? The treatment option in sickle cell anemia is hydroxyurea because this is known to increase hemoglobin F as well as bone marrow transplantation. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.